Hi, my name is Andrew Ring, and this is my Physics 2211 Lab 5 report. In this custom lab, the purpose was to compare the trajectory of a ball after being hit by another ball between observed data and a model. The model uses an elastic collision formula where the total momentum of the two balls before the collision is the exact same as the total momentum of the two balls after the collision. The fundamental principle of this lab demonstrates is the conservation of momentum. The result of the lab was that the ball and the model after being hit traveled faster than the observed ball after being hit. In the experiment, the system was the two balls and the table, while the surroundings was everything else in the universe. In the experiment to collect the data, I threw a pool regulation standard ball at another pool ball and recorded the collision. In Tracker, I tracked the movement of the ball being hit. In the model, to collect the movement of the second ball, the hit ball trajectory, I use the elastic collision formula, mv of the first ball plus mv of the second ball before the collision is equal to mv of the first ball and mv of the second ball after the collision. Tracking the first ball's position before and after the hit, I was able to get the velocities of the first ball before and after the hit as well. The velocity of the second ball before the hit is zero as it did not move. The masses of both balls were the same. Plugging these numbers into elastic collision formula, I was able to calculate the second ball's velocity after the collision. In a loop, I used predicted velocity to calculate the positions of the second ball after being hit and printed out the positions. After comparing the trajectory of the second ball, the ball initially stationary and then hit, with the observed data and then the model data based on the calculated velocity, the model data seems to have a higher velocity for the ball. This inaccuracy may be explained by two reasons. First off, rotational momentum was not accounted for in the model data for both balls, only translational momentum. This impact may have been minimal because the ball was thrown so quickly that both the balls were sliding more than rolling. But even if the balls were only sliding, there are still inaccuracies as there is friction between the table and the balls, which could have slowed down the second ball down after being hit. Thermal energy is lost from friction and also the contact of when the ball is hit, meaning the collision in reality was inelastic. For these reasons, the model data would have predicted the ball to have a higher speed than in reality.